16 in the diagram of triangle ABC shown below, DE is parallel to BC. DE is parallel to BC. So what does that mean? If, uh, if, those, if those are parallel, then what's going to happen is triangle ADE is going to be similar to triangle ABC, right? Because if they're parallel, this angle is corresponding with this angle, and this angle is corresponding with this angle, and of course they share angle A, so you can see right off the bat these are going to be similar triangles. Okay, so if AB is 10, so AB is the full length of this side, that's not straight. Okay, and AD is 8, so that's just from here to here, and AE is 12. What is the length of EC? So EC is just this bit here. Well, we can set up a ratio because the ratio of the sides of the smaller triangle ADE as compared with the bigger triangle ABC will be equal. So we could say this 8 is to this 10, 8 is the side of the smaller triangle compared to 10 which is the side of the larger triangle is equal to this 12, the side of the larger triangle compared to the full length of that bigger triangle which is AC. And Just keep in mind we're going to solve this but we're not looking for AC, we're looking for EC. Once we get AC we'll still have to subtract 12 from it to get EC at the end. So whenever you set these things up, remember to uh, just think through the whole problem. Make sure you're answering the question they asked at the end. Okay, so this is, we can cross multiply here. So 8 times AC equals 10 times 12, which is 120. So AC equals 120 over 8, which is 15. So if this whole thing is 15, then EC must be 15 minus 12 which is 3. So EC is 3.